Hi, I'm Dr. Leila Ladadiji, and I coordinate the Renaissance Scholars Program here at Cal State East Bay. The Renaissance Scholars Program is really a program that works with current and former foster youth here at our campus to provide them with the support services that they need to be successful here in college. Our goal is really just to make sure that they get through college successfully. So what do we do in the Renaissance Scholars Program? In a Renaissance Scholars Program, we provide many, many, many different services to the students to help them be successful, to graduate, and to move on with their lives. If it wasn't for Renaissance Scholars, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in any place that I'd be, like as a student, as a worker, as a fitness instructor, I wouldn't be doing anything because they're the reason why I decided to stay in school. We do lots and lots of academic advising and personal counseling just to make sure that the students get the support, the guidance, the direction that they need to be successful here in college. We also offer a textbook lending library so that the students may be able to just check out books without having to go and purchase them. And in those situations where we don't have the textbook available, then we'll also support students with book assistance funds. So all current and former foster youth receive priority registration, priority for on-campus housing, um, so that they will be assured a place to live if they want to stay on campus. But because they have that support to want to, to want to endlessly help you figure out why, help me figure out why I'm here, what I'm doing, why I want to do it, They'll be in my corner regardless of what I do, what I say, they will continuously support me. They've provided me with emotional support, financial support, and uh, they've also provided me with job opportunities and edu other educational opportunities. So the Renaissance Scholars Program started around 2006 um, as part of an effort as higher education institutions were really starting to think more about students in foster care and recognizing the fact that very few students in foster care actually graduate from high school and far fewer graduate from college. If it wasn't for Renaissance, I wouldn't want to graduate. I would have dropped out a long time ago. Why do children go into foster care? Perhaps there may have been some ne neglect, abandonment, um, sometimes there's incarceration from the parents, um, sometimes substance abuse. The reasons are, are, are many. I was placed in the foster care because my mother was um, not taking care of herself. She was um, on drugs, recreational, non-recreational, dangerous, non-dangerous. She was doing a little bit of everything. And as I look at the students, see all the wonderful things that they're doing, I'm looking forward to many, many years of more students doing great things, graduating, going out into the community, being leaders, and making major differences in, the li in their own lives, in the lives of their families, and in their communities. Um, well, since graduating, um, I have become a high school track and field coach, and I also work with a nonprofit located out of Berkeley, California that serves foster youth throughout the Bay Area. We have individuals and organizations who contribute to make all of these wonderful things happen for our students. We appreciate each and every one who has contributed to our program in one way or another. I'd like to share with you why I chose to be a donor to the Renaissance Scholars Program. The Renaissance Scholars Program at CSU East Bay helps level the college playing field, easing the transition from foster care to independence while a young person achieves a degree, providing scholarships, academic and personal support, as well as a sense of community. Now that's a program we think deserves our support. We hope you'll think so too. And it's amazing, like, very great, endlessly great. I feel like every day they help me, and I'm, I'm happy.